guys, we're going to show you how we shop for some of our favorite foods and what we look for when we're looking at new product ingredients. So welcome to Sprouts and come along with us on the store. We always try to get organic bananas because they're only a little bit more expensive and I try to get ones that are a little bit green because they ripen so quickly. So this will last me about a week. So mangoes are my favorite thing in the grocery store and I'm trying to find a ripe one for today. So here I'm just going to feel them like this. And this one's okay. I think it'll be good about three days. So I'm going to get that one. And oh, the rest are pretty hard, but they ripen pretty quickly and sometimes I'll even leave them in like a brown paper bag and they ripen quicker. So, oh, this one's pretty good. I had that one today. So I'm just gonna get a few. She's feeling to make sure they're a little bit soft, but not mushy. Do you suppose I'd come at all? I suppose I would. <laughs> now we're going to the dairy, dairy section. Dairy free! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys know some of you know that we love Poyo yogurt. It's because they don't add any sugar and it's coconut yogurt that tastes amazing. They don't have this right here, so sometimes I like to look at new yogurts, um, like this one by Vega. But it's super important that you read the ingredients because a lot of them add coconut sugar, which is basically the same thing as regular sugar, like this one. So that's why I'm going to opt out of this and stick with Poyo. So I'm pretty determined to find one with no sugar in it, because I think we can do it. I'm gonna try. I heard this one was good. Let's see. Cane sugar. Let's try Kite Hill. Plain, unsweetened. I think we got something here. Alright, so Kite Hill is good because it has almond milk and exanthium gum and argo gum with live cultures. So this one is good to go. What about their flavors? So here they have only other options vanilla and with vanilla cane sugar second ingredient. So in this case we would just get the unsweetened and at home I would mix it with berries so that we have the natural sugars of the berries when you're eating it together. So we, a lot of the times at home, will make our own almond milk. We have a machine called an almond cow, and it's really cool because you can do anything you want. But for people that don't have an almond cow, we are obsessed with Jenna, please show. <laughs> Califia Farms. Yeah. Califia. Oh, did I say it wrong? Whoops, sorry, Califia. But it's so good. I really like their unsweetened vanilla. It's my favorite. So if I didn't have an almond cow, this is what would be a staple in my fridge. So good in oats, so good in tea, anything. Two things I want to show you guys right here is that the Okinos cream cheese is amazing. You should all try it. The ingredients are really good. A little high in sodium, but still okay in location. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about seitan because uh, I'm just going to caution you about it because it's more processed than, say, tempeh. So if you guys are looking for a meat substitute, I would definitely choose a tempeh product over seitan. So one more thing is just like Jenna was saying that she loves the Mykonos um, cream cheese. This one is my favorite flavor. It's the Unlocked brand. And then there's another thing that I wanted to let you guys know about is Kite Hill, the yogurt we were just talking about. They have a really good cream cheese. This is just the plain flavor. And I like to dip carrots in this the most and even broccoli a lot of the times. But one thing that's really cool with this cream cheese is if you're like me and you like to make desserts, I actually use this in some desserts for a really good cheesecake instead of the normal cream cheese that you'd buy in the store. It's such a good alternative and literally works the exact same. Also, they just came out with an everything flavor that is so good. Guys, I'm so excited because I've been dying to try this ever since Jenna and our roommate went to Expo West without me. This is ice cream that is called Hakuna Banana and this flavor is vanilla. So this has bananas, coconut milk, dates, cacao butter, vanilla beans, vanilla extract, and the gar gum, a little bit of salt, but are you kidding? Ice cream. Sarah literally just said, oh my gosh, not in the video. So she's really excited. I'm so excited. I need to read these ingredients. Okay, this one is 
non-dairy frozen dessert, bananas, dates, coconut milk, vanilla extract, gargum, gum arabic, uh, chocolate coating, which is unsweetened chocolate. Oh, organic coconut sugar. This one goes back. But I'm really excited to try the cookie dough because this has no sugar. We just don't like coconut sugar. Dates only. Because <laughs> really, coconut sugar makes it too sweet for me. What about you? Oh, yeah, same. And sometimes even dates make it too sweet, so that's why our desserts are mostly minimal date sweetened, but I'm hoping this is going to be good. Yeah, honestly, a little bit of dates goes a long way. And if we were walking... So, crackers make my life a lot easier. So I do buy some prepackaged foods, but I want to make sure they're not fried products. So you have to read the ingredients list, but also check to make sure they're either dehydrated or baked. Um, so if they're fried, that makes it a chip and you'll get all these toxins in your body, like acrylamides and stuff like that. And also they're usually fried with oil. So when I'm looking at products, I'm always looking for dehydrated. So with that being said, I stumbled upon these veggie chips. Sorry, they're called veggie pops, broccoli cheddar flavor. And I'll read you guys the ingredients. Organic kale, organic broccolini, sunflower seeds, chickpeas, carrots, almonds, pepitas, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, garlic powder, onion powder, sea salt, organic potato, organic mustard powder. So that's pretty awesome. And I see on the front that it says organic dried vegetable snack. So it's just a dried dried vegetables essentially that I could take with me on the go and just throw in my bag. So it's a great option if you do need a packaged food product. Also, there's some dehydrated crackers that I love to di dip into Kite Hill cream cheese too when I'm eating breakfast quickly on the go. Another one of my favorite breakfasts that I post really often is with organic goji berries and organic tart cherries. So um, for tart cherries and goji berries, I just make sure they're the only product in there. There's no sugar, salt, any of that, and I mix it with some oats for cereal. Super good. So another really good on-the-go snack are bars, but we like to look for bars that are, even though they're date sweetened, you don't want your body to have such a sugar rush because if you have something that has too much sugar in it all at once, your body's glucose levels rise too high. So I'm gonna look for a bar with about under 10 grams of sugar in the whole bar. So this one is a layer bar with just cashew and dates. And so this one's total sugars are 15 grams, which isn't terrible, but we like to go a little bit lower than that. But if I had to, then I could use this and maybe only eat half of it at once. So I just checked a few of these bars, and most had around 20 grams or more, so the 15 grams I previously found was actually pretty good, and that's actually one of the reasons that our dad created the, his bars, because they're all under 10 grams or less, so go to drperman.com for this one. And that's what makes them great options for diabetics. Yes. So I've actually been really into creating my own nut butters, because you can get them exactly how you want them, and I like to combine nuts. So here I'm looking at the nut section at Sprouts. And they actually have it really conveniently labeled in green, what's organic. So I'm going to take some of these organic raw almonds, but you want to make sure that you don't go for the roasted almonds or salted for that matter. But roasted nuts have acrylamides in them, which are very, very toxic to our bodies. So that's one of the reasons I like to make my own nut butter and use raw almonds that are just not roasted and completely organic. Dr. Furman came out with cashew butter and almond butter that have no salt, no oil, and are not roasted for these reasons because they are toxic to your body. Um, nowadays, there are some more options, so chances are you might be able to find a good product in your grocery store, but it just so happens Kara's working with my parents to come out with more versatile nut butters with walnuts, cashews, and that are mixed so that you'll get an array of nutrients from the different nuts. Would you be the one to let our eyes meet? Or would you just keep on walking down to the turnaround?